Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Ben. Today I give you two solutions to fix the black screen when you link Oculus Link Cable. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. Come find me on my Facebook page, Advanced VR Fair, and use the link in the description to buy your favorite games at discounted prices on instant gaming and using the link you will also support the channel. First of all, what's the problem? Sometimes it happens that when you uh, connect the link cable to connect your Quest 2 to PC to use has PC VR headset, two things can happen. You can see the three dot that is about to connect your headset to your PC or you enter inside the Oculus Home for about half second and then you're kicked out again. Essentially, the PC refused the connection with your headset. And so, how to solve this problem? The most common solution is to authorize the connection between your headset and your PC. Often, those who connect the headset to the PC, they do with the device turn it off. So, when you turn it on to use as PC VR, you do not see the prompt window to authorize the connection between PC and headset. And this is crucial, because I noticed that if you do not authorize the connection, this problem happen and so oculus link is not working so what you want to do you first turn on your headset open the oculus app on your pc then connect the cable usb uh, 3.0 or official uh, link cable no matter what so connect your cable to your pc first then connect to your headset wear your headset and you will see the prompt window to authorize the connection between your device and your pc at this point click on authorized and then go to click activate link and this will make 100 percent oculus link working if this do not solve your problem, it's because probably you are using a wrong USB port. I remind you that to make Quest 2 uh, working perfectly as PC VR device, you have to plug inside a USB 3.0 port. And of course, you have to use a 3.0 USB cable. If your PC has a double S or a VR ready port, I strongly recommend you to use that one. I told you about two solutions, but here it is, the third one. If none of the previous solution can solve your problem, you might solve the problem by purchasing a 3.0 USB PSI card to install into your motherboard and usually this will solve your problem. If you want, you can find a USB 3.0 PCI card in the description to buy directly from Amazon. And that's it. Let me know down in the comments if this video solved your problem. Otherwise, tell me what's your problem again and we will try to find another solution for you. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. From Ben it's all. See you to the next one and see ya in VR. Ciao ragazzi.